printer off and unplug the power cord. Open the cassette upper right cover as illustrated in callout number one. Open the cassette lower right cover as illustrated in callout number two. Disconnect the reader power cable as illustrated in callout number one. Detach the rear right cover as illustrated in callout number two. Note, the rear right cover is attached using four screws as illustrated in callout number three. Remove all three screws as illustrated in callout number one. Then open the double hinge of the right cover. Detach the connector cover as illustrated in callout number one. Note, the connector cover is held in place by one screw as illustrated in callout number two. Remove the fixing unit as illustrated in callout number one. Note, the fixing unit is held in place by three connectors as illustrated in callout number two, and four screws as illustrated in callout number three. The fixing front cover is held by two screws. Remove the two screws from the fixing front cover. Detach the fixing front cover. The shutter unit is held in place by five screws. Remove all five screws from the shutter unit. The shutter unit is also held in place by two connectors. Remove both connectors. Remove the shutter unit by pulling it straight up. Remove three screws from the left side of the fixing unit. Detach the cable cover by pulling it straight out. Disconnect the connector. Remove the screw from the retaining arm on the left side of the fixing unit. Remove the screw from the retaining arm on the right side of the fixing unit. Disconnect the connector. Remove the screw from the right side that attaches the grounding wire of the fixing unit. Disconnect the last connector. Open the retaining arm on both sides and remove the fixing film unit by sliding it out. The fixing film unit has two leaf springs. Remove the leaf spring, which is a metal clip from the heater assembly by gently lifting the clip. Remove the second metal clip from the heater assembly by lifting the clip. Remove the separation guide. Remove the white plastic retainer clip from both ends of the heater assembly. Remove the black plastic holder from the right end of the heater assembly. Remove the tan bushing ring from the right end of the fixing film unit. Remove the black plastic holder from the left end of the heater assembly. Remove the tan bushing ring from the left end of the fixing film unit. Slide the old fixing film off of the end of the heater assembly. Clean the entire heater assembly by using a dry cloth. Apply one gram of grease evenly on the surface of the heating element and on the side of the holders.
Install the new fixing film over the heating element. Install the tan bushing ring to the left end of the fixing film unit. Install the black plastic holder to the left end of the heater assembly. Install the tan bushing ring to the right end of the fixing film unit. Install the black plastic holder to the right end of the heater assembly. Install the left white plastic retainer clip to the heater assembly. Install the right white plastic retainer clip to the heater assembly. Install the separation guide. Install the left leaf spring, which is a metal clip, to the fixing film unit. Install the right leaf spring, which is a metal clip, to the fixing film unit. Open the retainer arm on both sides and install the fixing film unit. Install the screw on the right side of the retaining arm on the fixing unit. Connect the top connector. Install the screw to the right side that attaches the grounding wire of the fixing unit. Connect the side connector. Install the screw on the left side of the retaining arm on the fixing unit. Attach the cable cover. Install the three screws on the left side to the cable cover of the fixing unit. Connect the top connector. Install the shutter unit into place. Install the five screws that hold the shutter unit into place. Install the two connectors. Attach the fixing front cover. Install the two screws to the fixing front cover. Install the fixing unit as illustrated in call out number one. Connect the three connectors as illustrated in call out number two. Install the four screws as illustrated in call out number three. Install the connector cover as illustrated in call out number one. Install the one screw as illustrated in call out number two. Close the double hinge of the right cover Install the three screws as illustrated in call out number one. Install the rear right cover as illustrated in call out number two. Connect the reader power cable as illustrated in call out number one. Install the four screws as illustrated in call out number three. Close the cassette lower right cover as illustrated in call out number two. Close the cassette upper right cover as illustrated in call out number one. 